now we are going to to set up all of us uh, texture that we had created at first so for that let's go here on uh, material editor so let's set up this first reward one so i'm not going to touch the second the interior wall here but i'm going to touch only the first here the exterior wall so on diffuse color of this wall i want to have a color white around i want something like that not totally white but i want something gray so i round 190 okay like that so it's okay on the case of this one here of second color of my texture here i want to have something on diffuse color i don't want this uh, this brown color but in my case here i'm going to choose something blue blue dark like that but let's set up all of those color right in red color i want to have five for example in green seven should be okay and then blue 14 so let's see now the result like that so it's okay let's see now my windows at first the glass here for the glass in diffuse i want to have a dark glass so let's put here to dark around like that so it's okay but in reflect here uh, my glass will be totally reflect here so total white 255 so it should be okay here on um, reflect here let's have something around uh, let's see like that so it's okay for me let's change something here in here on in head glossiness here i'm going to put it to put it i think let's see the effect on light of my glass here so i'm going to have something with zero point seven it should be okay and the one the overall but in your final reflection here i'm going to make this value two so it's okay okay let's continue here um let's see some film option we should enable here this trace reflection our object should be reflective so it's okay for now so let's see now the case of my frame here for my frame i don't want to use this color for my frame but i'm going to choose i think a metallic frame so aluminium frame so for the diffuse let's put let's use something black no not black but dark object dark around something like seven the darkness seven should be okay okay and my reflection here will be around 60 i think 60 okay and here for my head glossiness i'm going to choose the thing zero and seven so my object will be like that so I'm going to keep it now so it's okay oh it is the case of my it was the case for my window so let's see now here i think the roof for my roof here i'm not going to change so much thing apart from the color of of my roof here i want to have something right a roof red roof so red roof here let's find something like uh, something like like let's put this value on red would have 22 zero on the other so like that it's okay so so how about your floor here so here my floor texture 
So let's see the case for my floor. For my floor here, I don't want to use the color as diffuse, but I want to use a floor picture in my diffuse. So let's click on this one in order to do to do this one. So so it's okay. So let's let's go on bitmap. Here, let's find some some texture on my 3ds repair tree common file over this share material so here i have already so much texture but in my case i'm interested about uh, something like finished 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 texture so let's see Finished now. Finished. Let's see. So where, is, so where is my right texture? Here, I'm going to use this one. But before wait, let's click right and copy. And my Windows version here is in front. But I should copy it and double click after. So here. So I have now my this picture as diffuse. In reflection, my floor will be a little bit reflective, so with value around like that, it's okay. And the frame, uh, the head closeness here, 0.7. And the frame here, I'm going to put it to. So it's okay. But the problem here, as we can see, this object. This texture is not really realistic because there is not any bumpiness of my object. Because here on my maps on bump, I don't have any texture, any maps. So what we can do? We should have, we should create a black and white version of this image of this picture and to bring it after in on this bump. So let's go here on my floor and to pass here my this texture so it's okay i'm going to open this text this picture on my on for a uh, photoshop software let's go open it here so where is it Okay, let's double click on this picture. Our mission here is to create a, a, a black and white version of this, of this picture. So let's go image here, adjust man. And then I can see here something like, like here, so black and white. So it's okay, but light like here. Decrease a little bit the right color of this photo in order to see the black black edge of my of this picture. So like that should be okay. Okay, let's save it now. Save else. Okay. So let's use now this picture. So let's go back and treat this max upon curl and bring this texture that we had created and to bring it to bump in bump here like that. As you can see here, our texture, our mapping changed because before we had this one, it is not so realistic. But in the news texture we have, if we actually have the bumpiness we have, a more realistic. So let's increase the value. And let's use 50. So let's keep it 50. It's okay. So, but here, so what happened here? Because here I don't see really my texture flow. So because we should here in above we have shell shaded material in the port like that so it's okay now let's see now after that something 
the chance of my stair here my stair so where is the stair here so i should apply some texture in this stair so let's select this glass here in front of our house right click hide selection so on this vertical object of my stair i'm going to use only this wall for my walls texture here the wall, my wall my pin but here on this object i want to use texture i more more like that so i'm going to show you this texture so for that here so let's create it this texture let's create another and let's name it now okay on this use i'm going to use this photo so it's okay on my diffuse um here but this object over this texture should be a little bit i think reflective so let's use the reflectivity here then here in on reflection let's head to the now so i'm going to choose the raw seven okay and here I'm going to put it for now to two. So we can keep this value or not. So what I can active again, I should I think here to go here on option and enable this trace reflection in order to have this kind of texture. So, but I, I'm going to Let's change this value here, so we open with height, let's try this. Nope, I'm going to use the raw name. Okay, let's go back to raw. Okay, the so raw the name. Okay, let's keep it. So it's okay. I'm going to apply this texture now to my object, so we should be forward to select object here all of them last here so apply and here enable shell shading so so let's see select, select now this vertical part of my stir so this one and apply the first wall one here apply so it's okay so so what i should do now i, I think i will change i should change the texture here for the case of my of my object my floor here so let's right click and isolate this object and go on here on edit mesh polygon select this one and detach this object in order to put the same texture of my floor on my object detach floor okay and after select this one and apply the same with material okay so it's okay okay it's okay now so now i should set the last thing what i should do now i think uh, there is something wrong uh, on this protection of my view and there here because here my glass is already on this glass texture but here I, I used again this wood texture so why because if you can see if you go back here on our glass texture this glass will be applied in the object with an one id and the, not wood but here i so let's name it let's rename it now and you okay and the value here is going to be applied to the object with i id number two so let's check something now so let's select all of these objects here we, we, we are going to put it to to use the value 
texture with uh, for this object let now right click isolate selection and then go on modify mesh editing edit poly let's select your serve element mode and let's select all of those objects again and let's scroll down here then you can see something like here id so we are going to use the LU id number to here so let's put it to two and after we can reapply again this texture okay and as we can see i have now my object applied with this LU. so it's okay let's right click and isolate and here then here for this here for this glacier i want that object uh, should be in the edu and here i want this glass to glass so let's select and glass let's do the same thing for this object right click isolate selection modify here mesh editing edit poly element mode so let's go here on front view submit oh this is my object sure so let's select now the element here this one i should sure select all glass all element of my glass so let's go now on left view Select do the same thing. Select this part here. It's okay. So go back on reflect on perspective view. As you can see, all glass here are selected. So we can here no set up the ID of this object. I want it to glass. So ID number one. So let's do it now. ID number one. So where is it? This one. ID number one. And let's go on edit. Select invert. All other things here are selected. So I want this object to ID number two. And let's reapply again this texture material here. So as I can see, I have all of my object now well textured. So it's okay.